a Cape Town Mayor Patricia DeLille and the Democratic Alliance will today face off in court as the embattled mayor will challenge the party on their decision about her duties. The City of Cape Town Council has agreed to reduce Executive Mayor Patricia DeLille's role to that of a ceremonial mayor. And our reporter Nomawetu Solwandle is at the court this morning. Nomawetu, good morning. And uh, what has happened thus far? Well, a very good morning to you, Sakina. I can tell you now that it's certainly going to be a long day here at the Cape High Court as uh, a full bench listens to Mayor Patricia DeLille's pending cases against the DA. Now, you'll remember that the last time Mayor Patricia DeLille was at this court was to find out whether she retains um, her mayoral seat, seat in the city of Cape Town or not. Now, the Judge Gamble actually said that in order to keep things going here in the city of Cape Town in terms of service delivery, then Mayor Patricia DeLille should stay in her seat as mayor. But so much has happened in the last few weeks, Sakina, leading to the sitting here at the Cape Town High Court. But I'm now joined by the mayor herself just to tell us more. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's going to be, it's probably the last stretch or not, but just how do you feel this morning? Well, up till now, I've not been found guilty of anything. So for me to standing in front of the court here, uh, the third time today, it's to test constitutional issues, is to test and set legal precedent so that what happened to me must never ever happen to anybody else. I'm feeling very confident. I always put my faith in the independence of the judiciary. I respect the, uh, the discretion and the independence of the judiciary. And, and I, I do hope that for the sake of the people of Cape Town, because I always want to put Cape Town first, that we are able to get to an end of this long drawn out legal battle that has certainly impacted on service delivery in the city of Cape Town. Now, Mayor, the last time you were here, yeah. Judge Gamble said that you should retain your position as mayor in the yeah. city of Cape Town. In light of what happened last week at the full council sitting where your um, role was reduced to only ceremonial, what yeah. do you make of that after Judge Gamble's ruling? Uh, well, that will be part of the arguments uh, put forward today and tomorrow. Uh, yesterday we have filed an uh, extra affidavit uh, to ask the court also to consider what happened after the 8th of May with the ruling of the court that I should be reinstated with full powers. And again, that will also now be uh, decided on by the court whether in fact um, we can review the resolution of the full council and um, what my, uh, my role will be going forward. Now, Mayor, since last week's full council meeting, what has, be, was it, what has it been like working um, in the city of Cape Town? I know that this morning you had a mayoral committee meeting. Yeah. How did that go? We had to meet this morning to look at the practical implications of the decision of council. Uh, we, we have to implement that decision and therefore I seek advice this morning from a mayoral committee member to say just exactly what must I do on a day-to-day -day basis, but also that all MAKO members are now equal with the mayor. As much as I have to consult on everything and get consensus, every single MAKO member must do the same. So we have agreed that we will meet at least once a week. Uh, we've agreed that we will ha have to have many more council sittings and the impact of that and also that um, the, the feedback amongst us, especially about all the protests in Cape Town, I've called the next meeting of the MAKO to discuss that because that is what we are supposed to be busy with. How do we deal with the service delivery uh, protests, the land invasions in our city? And so I'm proceeding as best as I can under these circumstances. Now, Mayor, one of the things that um, matters that you'll be bringing uh, before yeah. this court here this morning is to have the Stienhazen report to yeah. be set aside. What are, you, what are you challenging with regards to the Stienhazen report? 
Um, the Steer Nation report has made a number of findings against me without testing them. And the worst with the say, Steer Nation report is that the DA then put all of the, uh, those allegations, untested as they are, put it out to the public. And I have said it's either we test those allegations, which is not possible to test them because there's no names of people, no surnames, no incident when it happened. And that is the main report that has actually damaged my reputation. And that's why I want that report to be set aside. Uh, I want uh, the court to, to review the findings in that And of course, that's where we're going to leave it there with uh, Nomaweto Solwandle. Well, our reporter, Nomaweta Solwande, there with uh, the executive mayor of the city of Cape Town, Patricia DeLille. That's where we'll leave it for now. And of course, it's been a fantastic morning and I'm going to cross to uh, Leanne.